Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee on Construction and Infrastructures, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 11th Bahrain International Property Exhibition BIPAX 2018, organized by the Bahrain Society of Engineers at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, which continues until November the 3rd. He said that practice has proven that the legal frames are the most ideal and successful solutions to address and develop the real estate sector. The Deputy Prime Minister explained that Law 27 of 2018 regarding issuance of real estate regulatory code and upon enforcement of its provisions and establishment, the real estate regulatory authority effectively contributed to market stability, particularly as the rear features, the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the support of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the follow-up of His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah praised the society efforts in making BIPEX one of the major events in the industrial expos map that is capable of attracting property developers in the region to Bahrain, explore the sector's investment opportunities whose contributions in the gross national product exceeded 4% until the first half of the current year. He also praised the organizer's selection of the main theme for this year's exhibition, which is Future Structure for of Real Estate in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which comes at a time when the real estate sector is witnessing drastic restructuring to prepare for a future based on solid foundations in terms of legislation and administration, which ensures the rights of all property dealing parties. The Deputy Prime Minister then announced the first permit to be issued two days from their request using the Binayat system, which was launched by His Royal Highness Akram and Prince during the Government Forum 2018 and regarding the movement of investment building permits issued by Municipal Center of the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, he said that the movement of orders issued increased by 10% until the end of October compared to the same period last year. He added that the construction and infrastructure development in the construction areas contributed to the flow of capital which gave the construction and infrastructure sector in the Kingdom a strong boost during the year. He said the official statistics and indicate that investment in the construction and infrastructure sector increased by 6.7 percent, especially as this sector constitutes about 7.5 percent of the total domestic economy activity. Chairman of the Organizing Committee, Dr. Dhiya Tawfiqi, expressed thanks and appreciation to the Deputy Prime Minister for inaugurating BIPEX 2018 and affirming that the success of the exhibition since its launch is thanks to his support.
The president of the Asian Football Confederation and deputy chairman of the International Federation of Football Associations, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, met today with the heads and officials of Association of East Asian Countries in Malaysia in the presence of a number of officials in the AFC. They reviewed means of developing football in Asia and in East Asia especially. Sheikh Salman stressed the importance of continuous communication between the AFC and national associations in the continent and affirmed the AFC's keenness to adopt an open door policy with all national associations to promote Asian football at all levels. He thanked the Eastern Unions for their active participation in the Confederation's General Assembly meeting. He reiterated the AFC's keenness to keep up with the reform process in international football, noting that the recent amendments adopted by the AFC Congress expressed the conviction of the national associations of the importance of applying the rules and regulations of FIFA and the leading continental associations. The Board of Trustees Chairman of Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received the UAE Ambassador to Bahrain upon his visit to the center. Also present were members of the Board of Trustees, Aisha Khalifa Matar, Sheikh Latifa bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Hassan Kamal, and Director of Public Relations and Cultural Program, Esmeralda Kabani. During the tour, Sheikh Sultan was briefed on the work of the center, which has been working for 17 years to revive places through lectures in addition to poetry, artistic, and media nights that exceeded 500 events across 16 cultural seasons. Sheikh Sultan hailed the center's history and its reflection of urban heritage that documents Bahrain's historical and cultural memory. He was also briefed on the center's strategy and future projects. The Joint Aerial Exercise Initial Link 2018 implemented by the BDF represented by the Bahraini Royal Air Force with the participation of nine brotherly, friendly and island countries concluded today in the presence of Royal Bahraini Air Force Commander, Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The exercise contributed to develop the level of participants in air defense work and exchange military expertise through the diversity of participating aircraft, which has enriched the technical combat ca capabilities in this vital military field. The large participation and the exercise had an effective impact on its success and achieved its objectives, including strengthening relations between the participants and promoting joint cooperation between the air forces in the field of air operations. This exercise further strengthened relations and cooperation by providing the opportunity to prepare new leaders. The exercise witnessed the participation of the Royal Saudi Air Force, the UAE Air Force, the Royal F Force of Oman, uh, Kuwait Air Force, the Royal Jordanian Air Force, the Egyptian Air Force, the UK's Royal Air Force, and Pakistan's Air Force. Isaac Bahrain Chapter won the Most Innovative Chapter Award for the year 2018 from Isaac International in the United States. More on this report. The Information System Auditing and Control Association chapter was presented by this prestigious award amongst 217 chapters of Isaaca International from 188 countries. The award ceremony was held in Chicago, the USA, as part of the Global Leadership Summit and attended by 600 participants from around the world. Information Systems uh, Auditing and Control Association is a non-profit leading association for the development, adoption and use of uh, industry standards, knowledge base for the benefits of its, uh, for IT professionals. So we have a lot of certifications that we offer to IT professionals such as uh, information systems auditing, information systems uh, control, security, and cybersecurity. The IT governance professionals got an opportunity to be certified during a period of one year and a half, of which more than 50% of the IT governance certified professionals were females. Overall, the chapter has uh, 270 members in Bahrain. Uh, the chapter was awarded the most innovative chapter, uh, which, uh, which is given to the chapter that demonstrates a leading program or a leading innovative program uh, and, and that demonstrates uh, member engagement or continuous education. So in Bahrain, we certified over 225 IT fresh graduates uh, that uh, most of them were 56 percent of them were females this initiative also supports that she leads tech initiative which is part of uh, supporting females in bahrain this award recognizes the outstanding outcomes that were achieved by a program implemented within an isaac chapter demonstrating innovative approaches for members engagement continuing education and community outreach
This award is a significant recognition not only for the chapter but for the for the whole of Bahrain. This demonstrates that Bahrain has highly capable leading edge human human capital. Isaac is an independent non-profit global association that engages in the development, adoption, and use of globally accepted industry-leading knowledge and practices for information systems. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef.